Spirit energy knows that it is passed on. Do you disagree? Hi, friend. So we have a paranormal investigator. Nice to meet you. Uh, here's one thing that I really want everyone to understand. And some people do and some people don't, and it's okay. So when it comes to identifying energy, spirit energy, exogenous energy, which is all different, we still have to remember that our information is only as clear as our conduit. It's only as clear as our conduit. I've done so many paranormal investigations. And again, when I'm working with a paranormal investigative team and they're doing all these things, we're like, this, is, this one is tethered here. If we are only looking for validation in our subjective experiences without going through educational process, you can find that when it comes to spirit energy, spirit energy speaks in evidence. Real spirit energy speaks in evidence. And evidentially, out of all the thousands and thousands and thousands of clients that I've worked with, Nowhere, nowhere does any spirit come in with any thought of saying, I'm stuck. I'm in a box. I'm stuck in this room. I don't know that I've died. I've got all these things going on. Nowhere does that come in. And when I say evidence, I mean, there are things that come through that there is no possible way that I could have known that. Down to the details, something that there's no way that I could have known. And that's evidence. So remember, when we are going into the excitement of paranormal investigations, we are gonna catch echoes of conscious energy. We are gonna catch residual energy. And if we don't know those finite differences, and I am not blaming you because it is hard to know the difference, friend. If you do not know the difference, you're gonna assume that all echo consciousness is ghost. You're gonna assume that all residual energy is ghost. That is here, that is stuck. So this is, in, I'm, not, I'm not faulting you. There's, that's why we have those opinions. But through process and finding evidence, that's education. And then going through the removal of your ego. Well, my opinion is based on this because I want things that have happened to me. That's ego. So we have to remove ourselves from the subjective mind, go into a learning process where you've got no weight in it, none at all, and then move with evidence and more. I hope that helps.